You know what? I can't even believe what you're doing right now. I specifically asked you to be quiet and not talk to me while I'm trying to read my book. But no, you just had to keep on yapping, not caring about anyone else's peace and quiet. Well, I've had enough. Consider yourself officially shushed. Shush. Don't talk to me. I don't want to hear it. I mean, seriously, can you not see that I am fully engrossed in this book? It's like you don't even care about my personal space or boundaries. Shush. Be quiet. I've shushed you multiple times and yet, here you are, still talking away, completely ignoring my requests. It's like you're purposely trying to annoy me. Are you? Is this some sort of twisted game to you? Oh, look at that, you're laughing now. Great, just great. You know what, let me just put my book down and give you my undivided attention. Maybe then, you'll finally get the hint and stop talking. Hush. Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear you talking to me while I'm trying to relax. It's annoying. I have half a mind to just throw my book at you, but I won't because I am a civilized person. Instead, I'll do something even better. I'll show you what it feels like to be silenced. You see, in the novel I'm reading, there's a scene where the female protagonist gets gagged by the villain. And you know what, that's exactly what I'm going to do to you. You've brought this upon yourself. My dear friend. Now, just lay still while I pin you down. Oh, what's that? You're trying to resist. Don't even bother. I'm stronger than I look. Plus, you can't do much when you're lying on your back like this. I must say, this is quite a satisfying feeling finally having the upper hand. Oh, but wait, I just realized I don't have anything to gag you with. Huh, let me think. I could use a piece of cloth, but that's too cliché. Oh, I know, my socks. Yes. They may be a bit sweaty and smelly, since I've been wearing them all day, but hey, you shouldn't have kept on talking to me, should you? Don't give me that look, you brought this upon yourself. Now open wide, I'll stuff one sock in your mouth, just like in the novel. And there we go. Oh, this is priceless. You look so ridiculous with my sock sticking out of your mouth. Now for the other sock. I will use it to cover your mouth and tie it behind your head to secure the first one. Perfect, now you're properly silenced. Don't even try to mumble, I can't understand a word you're saying. And you know what, I think I'll just leave you like this for a little while. Let's see how you like being gagged and unable to speak. What's that? You're struggling? Well, that's too bad because I'm not letting you go until I finish this chapter. And even then, I'll keep sitting on top of you, just to make sure you don't try to remove the gag. This is quite enjoyable, I must say. Maybe I should do this more often when people annoy me. Oh, look at that, you're trying to say something. What is it? You want me to let you go? No way, I'm quite enjoying this. Maybe now you'll finally learn to listen to others and respect their boundaries. Consider this a lesson learned. And hey, at least you have a pretty girl sitting on top of you. See, 
I always find the silver lining in every situation. Now, let me get back to my book while I sit on top of you. Finally, some peace and quiet. <laughs>